Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and I have a review today for you guys on Inside Out from Disney and Pixar. So, finally, I feel like we're officially back on track with truly good quality Pixar films. Now, not that uh, Monsters University, and Brave, and Cars 2 were not good films, I just don't think they were the same kind of quality as stuff like Toy Story 3, Up, The Incredibles. So, you know, you have those classic Pixar movies that everybody adores. Now, you know, really it was a bit of a letdown for both Monsters University and Cars 2 for a lot of people. Aside from all of that, you have a brilliant idea from... Pixar and uh, Disney, who I think it was mainly Pixar, you know, I think Disney just kind of owns them, but, um, you know, you haven't had a cool, we haven't had such a cool idea since Up, and, uh, you know, that was like the whole premise of it. This is like the, this is Pixar's next big thing. Now, in my paper, which yes, I'm, I know, a lot of people don't exactly read the paper anymore, but Inside Out got three and a half stars on a four. That's pretty good. That's almost as good as the reviews that a movie like Toy Story 3 got. So you can only expect a movie like that to be good. Now, I guess that doesn't really mean anything because it's all judged on opinion. But if you're going off opinion, you have, you know, I guess we're going off my opinion right now. And that is that, you know, when have we ever had a, a like, something like, when have we ever seen a movie... Okay, where you have emotions, or, you know, just things inside your brain be the main characters. Never. That's the cool part of this. The whole thing where it's not, it's almost like there, there are things controlling your mind. Like, there's little people inside your brain, right now, as I'm talking to you, and they are making you watch this video. They're, they're telling you that you like this video, or you hate this video, or you think it's just okay. So, you know, to me, that was pretty cool. So that's sort of what I mean by, like, such a, you know, a big idea since Up. You know, who, who's ever heard of an old man who's going to go to, you know, who decides... I don't want to go to a retirement home. I'm going to take my house up by balloons and fly to some weird part of South America by some big falls because that's what my dead wife wanted. Now, don't get me wrong. Up was a phenomenal film. Probably one of my favorite Pixar's. But, you know, honestly, uh, you know, it's such an out there idea. This is why Inside Out, for me, worked so well. Now, um, before, because I only have a few negatives. I'm just going to state them first so we can focus more on the positive. So let's start with some of like my few little teeny weeny negatives. Number one, it was incredibly colorful. Now you would probably think that that's a good thing. Well, you know, in parts of Inside Out, uh, you know, aside from the whole memory thing with all the balls and, you know, each memory, um, you know, there everything just felt uh, very colorful, a lot of pink, and a lot of light blue and bright greens, and um, I don't know if that exactly worked. I kind of would have liked to see a bit more of a, uh, just a, I don't know, like a different kind of um, look for something like this, you know. I wouldn't expect a brain to look bright pink and stuff, you know, but... Um, I don't know, I, I was a little bit surprised with that choice. You know, to have something like that uh, with a lot of color, that was a kind of a big negative for me. I, you know, when I think of a brain or a mind, I would expect it to not be that colorful. But, you know, obviously color is really cool. It's very, like I said, it's different from anything, you know, Pixar's done. We haven't seen anything this colorful before, so I thought, why not, you know? Next thing, um... I kind of felt like I saw a lot of resemblance from movies like Toy Story and Monsters, Inc. Now, that's a good thing. Trust me, it's a good thing. But, um, on, in, the, on the, same, the same time, 
you know, you kind of want to see, like I was saying, original stuff. Now, all the stuff where, uh, you know, you where we saw Bing Bong, uh, which I'll talk about Bing Bong in a little bit. He was awesome. When we saw Bing Bong, uh, you know, sort of, sorry, spoilers right here. So turn the video off if you haven't seen the movie yet. But, um, you know, we see Bing Bong. He sacrifices himself into the, you know, bottomless pit of forgotten memories so Joy could go, you know, fly the rocket and get back up to headquarters. So, you know, that kind of reminded me of, well, the whole bottomless pit of headquarters thing, that reminded me of Monsters, Inc. when Mike and Sully get thrown into the, uh, you know, um, ice room or the frozen tundra and they're banished. That kind of, it reminded me in that way. And then, you know, how um, Bing Bong sacrifices himself reminded me a bit of Toy Story. And just in general, I felt like it resembled a lot of the past movies. Good thing and a bad thing. So I guess it's not really a true negative. And um, then the last one is that it kind of, I felt like it sent somewhat, you know, in a sense for a child. If we're talking about something for a child, like a film for a child, you know, it sent somewhat of, you know, sent a very cool message with sadness, brings happiness and everything, but on the same time, it sent a bit of a message where, you know, you see a kid, you know, just pushing her parents away, pushing her friends away, pushing everything away, you know, obviously she went through a big change, you know, uh, moving and leaving everything behind, and st having to start over and nothing working out in her new house. And then, of course, everything that's going on it w up and down with joy and sadness. But, um, you know, how they're out of headquarters. But really, you know, it could send the wrong message. Seeing a kid run away. Seeing, you know, having a watch a little kid watching a kid, another kid that could be possibly the same age on screen running away. And with, you know, maybe it could send the wrong message with depression. And I think that was a big thing with the movie. Now, in some sense, it was a bit more, a little bit of a darker tone for a Pixar film, which was interesting. But at the same time, it did send a good message. So now that we've gotten the negatives out of the way, let's talk about the positives, which there are so many. Now, first one, of course, the characters. And I'm talking about the emotions, anger. Man, they picked the perfect person to play Anger. Lewis Black, it was awesome. Um, you know, he, with the flame from his head, anytime he's in control, he gets his special, like, uh, controllers where that pop up from the control panel and he just pushes them forward and he flames on, uh, with at least the top of his head does. And it's a lot of fun with him. Uh, then you have somebody like Fear, especially when Fear is put on, uh, like Dream Patrol or something like that, and he's watching the Dream sequence, the Dream, um, whatever, you know, like the, the new Dream Productions. That was a lot of fun. He's kind of funny because, you know, he's always worrying about stuff. He's kind of like that. He's always the voice who's saying, don't do this because this could happen, and it probably will happen. And the outcome will be bad, and there's going to be this many outcomes, and each outcome's going to lead to some sort of death. And something, you know, stuff like, not exactly death, but, like, just stuff like that. Disgust is sort of like that, like, uh, kind of like that annoying, like, quote-unquote, cool girl, or, you know, whatever, who's just like, no, you, you, you kind of know what I'm saying. Like, um, if you've seen Mean Girls, then, like, the Mean Girls kind of area, you know, with, um... Where she doesn't want to be touched by people. And, and I thought that, you know, getting Mindy to do that was pretty cool. Um, you know, and then you have Sadness. Now, that was a lot of fun. You know, at the beginning, she kind of annoyed me. Because she wouldn't stop touching stuff. Joy literally told her, don't touch that. Don't. Because you're going to turn the memory sad. She just goes on ahead and touches it anyway. Why? Does she have... A problem. Maybe a disability. Probably not. So, you know, it doesn't it didn't make sense to me why that would happen. 
you know, uh, that kind of, to me, needed a bit more of an explanation. Like, she's she's been drawn to the core memories for years, and, I mean, I don't know. It needed a bit more explanation for me, but towards the end of the film, sadness really pulled through for me, and I had a lot of fun with her character. And then, of course, Amy Poehler stole the show with Joy. And this Joy character was so cool. It was, you know, a... a a person who is always happy, and even in the worst kind of situations ever, might be a little bit down, but is still filled with joy, and that was awesome. Um, you know, the way the character looks, number one, and number two, how it controlled everything, that, or she kind of was able to always fix everything and control it in, the, in a good way, uh, trying to keep every memory happy, and, you know, um, I really liked how without joy... And I guess sadness, a brain couldn't work. You know, they the both of them get lost in headquarters, or they're they're you know lost from headquarters, and the brain just can't work because you only have three emotions: disgust, fear, and anger. And I kind of felt like it was cool how anger, fear, and disgust, you know, they're, they're still left there, right? But they're trying to play the part of of joy, like the leaders. And I like that, you know, obviously it's physically impossible because that's not their job. Their job is to be angry, to be afraid, to be disgusted, not to be happy and peaceful, and um, or not to be sad and gloomy. So, you know, to me I felt like that was cool. Then you have Bing Bong. I did not expect this to be a main character. Why? Number one. I had not even heard of that about this Bing Bong character being in the movie, mainly because he was not in any trailer. That was a sign that, you know, he probably, that there really wouldn't be any other main characters except for the main five, and then, you know, of course, Riley and her parents. Um, that was number one. Number two, he was not on any of the posters. There were a couple posters, and they only focused around the five emotions, not in the, the imaginary friend. So, yeah. Something that also surprised me was that, you know, Richard Kind, he ended up playing uh, uh, Bing Bong. He got third billing after Amy Poehler, who played Joy, and then Sadness. I was expecting him to get sixth, sixth billing, right? He didn't. He got third. That was upsetting because he wasn't in any of the trailers or posters, so bad job to you, Disney and Pixar, but it's okay because this Bing Bong character was so awesome. Now, you know, you have a combination of everything a kid loves, right, and you put it together, make it pink, have it be an elephant and part dolphin, and, you know, you've got the perfect imaginary friend. Now, the cool thing is... That this imaginary friend actually kind of existed, in, it obviously it didn't exist, but it was a part of Riley. It was something that she created in her head, just like joy and sadness, and it was just as important as them. Now, obviously, Bing Bong had to go, and that's, that's unfortunate, but um, he, he really was a great addition to the cast and team, and... Uh, I don't know, it's just such a different kind of character. I, I, something that I really wasn't expecting from this kind of movie. So, um, you know, I, I kind of like that. And I like the message it sent. It sent this the message of, you know, you to be happy you need to be sad sometimes. Because sadness brings, um, some sadness brings joy. Like there was this thing where Riley, she was really sad because she missed the goal or something like that and her team lost this big championship and she was really sad so the memory was blue but then her parents walk over and they you know get up on the tree with her and they start hugging her and cuddling her and telling her it's okay and then the memory turns happy and it's joy and it's the same color as joy's emotions and it just goes along like that and I really like that message so let me know in the comments what you guys thought about Inside Out Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Ryder, signing off from Toys with Attitude, and keep riding, guys. Bye.